Lykala, founded in 2013, Sweden, Deep Tech. witnessing a nuclear renaissance. Policymakers all over the world talk about the need for new nuclear. And why is that? Well, quite simple. To solve the energy crisis, the climate crisis, we need CO2-free power, since power is a big source of emissions. So we need CO2-free power. We also need much more power. In Sweden, we're looking at twice as much electricity in a few decades as we use now. So how do we get this abundant and clean electricity? Well, renewables is going to be an important part of the answer. But as this chart shows, we cannot just rely on renewables. If you just have solar and wind, you need a lot of energy storage, and then the cost is going to get prohibitive. So most analysts say that you need nuclear in the mix together with renewables. But I think it's fair to say that the Giga project, when you build new nuclear power plants, hasn't always been that great. And that's why we in the SMR industry, small modular reactors, want to turn the concept on its head. So instead of big projects that take 10 years, 10,000 people, what we talk about here is a factory, a prefab unit that's done in one year and sent to the site and installed. And you start getting revenues quickly. But not all SMRs are created equal. So some people talk about SMRs, but they still mean 25 meter high tower. That's pretty similar to today's conventional nuclear. What we talk about is a five meter tall unit that's a true SMR they can actually make in a factory. And we use liquid lead instead of water as a coolant. And that has been used for 40 years in nuclear submarines. So we know it works. And because we can make small units, we can make them in a factory. And it's going to be much more cost competitive. So that's why liquid lead is a primary challenger to today's water reactors. Also, the steam that comes out of the reactor, the steam is the API, if you will, to the rest of the world. It's a much higher temperature, so you can use it for other applications, like making hydrogen. We don't use nuclear today. But there is always a but. There's one big problem we're using liquid lead, and it's highly corrosive. But we have solved this problem. That's one of the big innovations in Blykala, is making materials that can handle liquid lead, along with the fuel and the reactor design. We have a number of patents to prove this, and we're now building a prototype with Uniper to, to demonstrate the technology. After that, we're going to build our first reactor by 2029. And our goal is to build a thousand of these units. If we manage to do that, that means we save half a gigaton of CO2. That's 10 times Sweden's total emissions, or 1% of the world. So that's what we're up to. We're raising our Series A run now. So you're, of course, welcome to contact me if you want to be part of the journey. Thank you. <laughs>